Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, I'm still so upset about this and I have so many more thoughts and apparently so does the entire internet. So I thought we could have a look at some of the stuff trending over on Twitter and have a conversation about it all. I'm Jen. Thanks for being here, everybody. Hong Kong. So real quick, this video is going up on Saturday. So that means my conversation with HG is up on his channel. He asked me some of the, my favorite questions I've been asked. Really enjoyed talking to him. I think you'll see it in the interview. We had really good rapport and I just, I had the best time. So please do me a favor, go watch that. Leave him comments, show HG your honkers, honk at him. He's a, such a good sport about it. He, um, you'll see on Sunday, he sat down for my interview. So I'm excited for that as well. But please do go watch this and leave him comments because I really want this video to get big. I just had the best time with this. Thank you in advance. Now let's get into this. Oh, you guys, I know you know, but let's get our age together. Those dicks couldn't even stay for the ceremony. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really feisty. I'm caffeinated and feisty today, so buckle up. They couldn't even stay for the whole ceremony. They came in, made it about themselves, immediately took off. Hey, maybe that's their gift to everybody else in the room. I want to give a shout out to, it looks like, I don't know who this person is. It's uh, Brea the underscore me for sharing the video and then the official office of CB for bringing it to my attention. So let's take a look and watch. I'm not going to talk through it so you can hear the reactions as they get up and make their grand exit. Look at us. We're here to make this whole thing about ourselves and then leave. T Tacky, disgusting disgraces. I hope you're proud of yourselves, ESPN. This is who you gave the award to. Everybody's pointing at you, buddy. You got to do it. Somebody pass this microphone down to her. Go. Okay, I'm not crazy. You heard it too, right? The booze, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Look at the finger pointing. I don't know. I just it feels like they're getting a thumbs down and definitely some booze going on there. And and beyond that, it was just like. People watching them make asses of themselves and just walking out and almost to silence. It's just, ugh, so full of themselves. Look at us. It's all about us. An award for bravery, but we can't be brave enough to sit through, through the award show. They are tacky and awful people. Uh, so it's being disputed. In my opinion, Serena was completely standing up for them when she was making, you know, pretend digs, but I think it was digs at all of us. A lot of you guys seem to agree in the comments. But my point is, so she can stand up for them and recognize them and potentially have this whole thing arranged, in my opinion. They can't be there to support her through her entire hosting duties. Again, these two are just the worst. The only thing they did was do a favor to everybody else that was there that were like, peace out. Anyway, they're ridiculous and disgusting. Let's move on. Let's see some reactions to this, shall we? Queer Lips of Truth says, did Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wait until the conclusion of the ESPY Awards? Or did they just up and leave after collecting the Pat Tillman Award for service, which they purchased? It sure does seem that way, doesn't it? Imagine someone so, no, imagine a couple so wrapped up in their own self-importance, they couldn't even muster the basic courtesy to stay through the actual ceremony. They received an accolade they clearly didn't earn, promptly stood up and walked out, ignoring the rest of the event and the people present. The blatant display of selfishness, of rudeness, it just, it not only highlights their disregard for others, but also underscores their inability to appreciate or respect the significance of this occasion. And it, and it shits on their peers too, right? Uh, they're not peers. These people in this auditorium have actually achieved stuff. What am I thinking? Their actions reveal just a deeply ingrained sense of entitlement and a basic lack of decency. It, it just shows off their true character in the most unmistakable way. And also a shout out to Queer Lips of Truth because this one made me laugh. Have you seen this picture? Let's look at it closely first and then we'll read what Queer Lips of Truth wrote. Hey, look at that. It's almost like she knew she wasn't allowed to get on stage. So she's going to milk that moment for everything it's worth and look toward the camera while she does. Yeah. 
has no balls, had this miserable pout the entire time. I don't feel sorry for him, mind you, because he's disgusting, but, uh, <laughs> but it is funny. And enjoy the hell of your own making, dude. You deserve it. Okay, so <laughs> Queer Lips of Truth says, we have a visual representation of the state of the marriage and life of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. This photo from the Pat Tillman ESPYs yesterday proves that Harry wants out. He is miserable. <laughs> but Madame LaClaus, that's a great name, ain't letting go. Thanks at Sage1411 for this. Yeah, it's not looking good. Um, many of you pointed out, I was just so angry when I watched it. I didn't even talk about it, but no kiss when they when he went to go take that award, anything like that. I think, here's my thing. I could be totally wrong. I'm just guessing. I think they live completely separately. I think they come together for crap like this when they know, because they know they have to make money and they know it'll bring attention. So they do stuff like this. Plus she will never miss the opportunity to be dressed up or near a mic or to show off some ridiculous, I don't know, nonsensical, completely expensive, whatever this is. And, um, yeah, I think, I think it's been over for a while. It's just, just my guess. I have no idea. I'm just guessing here. All right. This one was shared by Prince and Princess of Wales account. It says, I'm not posting these for any reason whatsoever. So in case you're like, what is this? This is Venus Williams, of course, Serena's sister. And yeah, that was the side eye she gave Harry and Meghan, Harold and Fraud, if you will. So <laughs> I'm right there with her. I think she's all of us in that moment. That's how I felt as well. I'd love to be a fly on the wall to know what that conversation was like between Venus and Serena afterwards. I'm still thinking Serena is firmly in camp Sussex after that nonsensical, you know, stuff she was saying beforehand. But I don't know, based on this face, maybe, uh, maybe Venus is, is on our side of this. Okay. So the original poster here, I, I apologize. I love his post. I never can say his name right. You can see here. It says, he says, the truth is I stand here, not as Prince Harry. No, you're a moronic ginger man child in the hands of a pathologically cheesy grifter who can't help writing nauseously embarrassing word salads for you while you stock up on awards you don't deserve, you fraudulent old ham. Is that not so beautifully said? To which Take R. Kelly, give us back Tupac, says the irony that he doesn't understand that he'd not be getting that award if he wasn't Prince Harry. Ding, ding, ding. Exactly that. It is just wherein the hypocrisy lies and continues and it just makes, I know I'm banging my head against the wall, but I know you guys are feeling it too. So that's why I'm extra feisty in this episode. I really am. I just, every time I think these two can't sink lower, they do. They absolutely do. And we're seeing it. Princess Carparkle <laughs> shared this, Meghan Markle or ironing board. <laughs> I'll just let you do with that way you want, but that's pretty darn good. Look at the pictures. They're not wrong. I mean... <laughs> So I mentioned before, and I tweeted out that I thought it looked like a lobster bib, but she didn't wear a shirt under. <laughs> I know I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes, but she didn't wear a shirt underneath. It, and a lot of you responded very positively to that. And I would like to shout out Miss Panda 007. Thank you for this. She always makes me the best memes. She made this one. <laughs> and I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> I should not be laughing this hard at this, but I am. Thank you, Miss Panda. You're wonderful. She always makes me the uh, goose and gosling memes that I love so much. And she, yeah, there you go. There's the lobster. <laughs> Too funny. This was shared by Royally Sage and it says, everyone's faces. No one looks impressed. And I say, I didn't even notice that. I was so busy looking at the alarmingly bald, right? And that what he uh, called William, uh, Prince William in his silly book spare he talked about william being alarmingly bald and i'd say william looks good what you got going on <laughs> bozo right <laughs> i usually reserve that name for boozy but it kind of fits here too uh but it is funny to see everybody's faces around them yeah they're right nobody looks impressed and uh could you blame them all right friend of the show megan markle parody queen of memes 80 posted this no matter the road ahead we're here for you we will leave no one behind Bunker Harry with a clown emoji. I mean, can you imagine someone who loudly is proclaiming, leave no one behind, as if they're a beacon of compassion and unity, but yet they've both deliberately estranged themselves from their own families, severing ties without a second thought. 
It's incredible the hypocrisy with these two. And shout out to Megan Stowell, that's such a great name, for this. Hashtag simple alert. Imagine Bunker Harry buying the Pat Tillman Award with funds from his bogus charity, R12. Then wearing his elevator shoes. You know what we're talking about because he's been wearing these, these shoes that make him a few inches taller. Uh, to upstage the real war heroes. This douche was reciting a speech straight from inspirational quotes for Mother's Day by unknown F.O. Harry. All right. I would like to remind you all of this. Prince and Princess of Wales account <laughs> points out back to our normal programming with popcorn emojis. Prince Harry's deleted texts will be explained in privacy case and it will destroy him. Thank you for reminding us all. That's what we need to focus on now that this shit show, well, it's not over, but you know what I mean? <laughs> now that the SPs have passed, we need to be talking about this, that destroying evidence thing, because it's going to be big, I think. We're going to end it on some funny ones, and then I have some Prince William goodness to show you. Okay. <laughs> Lean Me Machine. You know I love their stuff. Definitely make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. They are over on Twitter. It's at it's Megan Narcissus. Sorry, it's just that these letters are tiny. That's why I always struggle with it. One. So it's M E G H A N A R C I S S one. Okay. Lean me machine with this one. I'm saving her best one for last, but this one says hashtag Megan's Mike, hashtag the Megsies. And we have this. This is for my wife. <laughs> I cannot do that accent, but just look at everything about about this picture. It just makes me laugh. And then we, <laughs> you guys, we have this one. Congratulations, Harry. H-A-I-R-Y. <laughs> this picture, and it says, SB's Extra Spare Prince Yucky. My personal favorite. You are not ready for this one because I wasn't when I saw it. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Just take it all in. Don't worry, I'll zoom in. Hashtag the claw. Hashtag Bigfoot. Just take in <laughs> what Lean Me Machine did here. Oh my gosh, from the oversized hand and arm to that foot. Everything about it, I love. It's it's brilliant. I mean, I'm still laughing about it. Great job, Lean Me Machine. Here's the original photo in case you were wondering. And finally, I would never disrespect his royal highness prince william but can i just say wow <laughs> we got this shot of prince william on a horse here and uh it says the <laughs> the way i want to slap prince william's blank you know what never mind i love it thank you in a teacup nina this is great this is a great laugh and uh the office of indy Apparently, they added the Sussex stamp on his fine derriere, um, which, you know, I find it funny, but also, how could you mess with perfection like that? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm leaving this here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the show. Please take a moment. Go watch HG Tutor's video. I'm so excited for you to see the interview and to see how we got on and... Um, do leave a comment. It really, you know, it'll help grow his video and Hey, maybe we'll pick up some new drunk geese by doing that. And also his video that I, I made will be up on Sunday and I'm very excited for you to see it. I think it's like an hour and 10 minutes of us answer of us talking and him answering your questions. And I had so much fun putting it together. So I, I think you'll see the joy in that video and I hope you enjoy it as well. So thank you guys for being here. Have the best day. I know we're frustrated about this. Leave me your comments on all of it. Let me know what you're thinking and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.